This weekend, the Suncoast saw a portion of the worldwide women's march. A few thousand marchers walked on Ringling Bridge, showing solidarity with those who have voiced concerns about the coming administration. This movement happened in nearly 600 cities across the world, and this demonstration got a lot of attention, and many who attended it said that it was an inspiring and positive experience, a nice way of coming together. A definitive message of the marches was peaceful protest of President Trump. So here's a couple pictures of it from all over the world. We even have, we saw the Sun Coast earlier. We have St. Petersburg. This was the wow. view in, uh, right wow. over the bay wow. in St. Pete. So did this inspire you ladies? It definitely did. I, I'm, I'm really happy that we were able to do it. And just to think that this started off with just a small group saying they were going to go mm -hmm. to protest the inauguration. And you have people all over the country coming together to do this. It's amazing. We almost lost hope there could be peaceful demonstrations. Mm -hmm. And it was totally peaceful. Yeah. And it really got the message across, I think. Yeah. I hope it got the message across. I don't know. That's the whole thing. What's next? And so I was in St. Pete and I saw it. I couldn't believe how many people were out and the community and everybody was just sitting and they were all afterwards just talking about it and talking about experiences. And I kind of just flew in. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, <laughs> wow, there's a lot going on here. But they were, it was, it was incredible. And my whole thing in the back of my throat was, please don't crash something into a Bank of mm -hmm. America window or mm -hmm. uh -huh. keep it peaceful because they said that they couldn't open up the streets in St. Petersburg because they didn't have the insurance for it. Mm -hmm. So they had to re stay on the sidewalks. And eventually okay. they just took over. But it was really incredible and inspiring because nothing went wrong, which yeah. is so important because if it's not going to be a peaceful demonstration, then it's not going to do any good and yes. it's just going to get bad publicity. Many of the reports cause. that I saw on social media where people were saying it felt so good to come together. And regardless of what side of politics you are on, our country is built on the ability to be able to speak out yes. about things. And, you know, to your point, Mickey, to do it peacefully. I thought it was inspiring, and yeah. I think we've all needed to kind of uh -huh. be together. When I was in China on vacation, we started down a street, and whoops, we had to veer that way. And the guide said, it's, there's a demonstration down there. Everybody's going to be arrested, and if we watch it, we'll be arrested. Wow. And we don't have to worry about no. that here. That's true. Ooh. I mean, I, I hear what you guys are saying about the peaceful part, but and I do understand, but I also feel like... Um, when you have um, riots and things like that, people will resort to violence when they don't have another option if you're not hearing them. So I get what you're saying, but uh, with uh, some of the other protests where it has gone there, I don't think it's you know a, a matter of um, they want it to just be violent. It's like sometimes when you're just so oppressed, you don't know where and people aren't listening. You don't know how else to, to respond. Not saying it's a healthy behavior, but sometimes that's what yeah. happens. They're saying, listen to me, yeah. listen to me, listen yeah. to me. So that's what I think sometimes that happens. But as far as this, um, the Women's March, I think what for me, I thought was more inspiring because I, I, I really lost hope. Like when the election happened, I had, lo I had lost hope in the fact that I thought a good number of society um, was racist and supported racial views that um, I thought was offensive. And to see so many people from all over come together and say, no, we do not support these views. We're going to stand up for everybody being treated the same way. That, to me, was the better part of it. And, and that is kind of what our country is built on. And again, no matter what your political side is, there are people online yeah. who are protesting the Women's March, yeah. saying mm -hmm. the hashtag not my march is trending. And mm -hmm. while whether you agree or not, we live in a country where we are able to assemble. Like, like Linda said, no yeah. one's going to pull up and arrest anyone yeah. for standing peacefully. So it, I, I feel like it was a nice, inspiring way. It There's really still was. a lot of work on both sides to come together, but this was hopefully um, a beginning step. It was hopeful for me. Yes, yes. and that's important.